Hey everybody, it's Mickey Mikeworth, and today I'm going to talk to you on prosperity mindset uh, based on some of these these card methods that I've given you. So, how do you use this card method um, to help support you in your other goals on building prosperity? Many of you are ingesting an enormous amount of podcasts and YouTube and just media in general, but you're not actually writing down what you learned from it. So whenever you're kind of going to, to go do through these things, what we're starting is to start to build rituals that help you actually retain the things that you have and start connecting the dots at a bigger level because we're building wisdom, not just consuming information. Most people are just consuming data at a crazy rate, but they're not actually doing anything with it. And when you look at people who are feeling fatigue from all of life, kind of just constantly beating at you more and more and more and more, right? I mean, your inbox, your this, your that, it's just all of this digital weight in your life. If you are not actually aligning your thoughts, your learning, your experiences, and you're not aligning them in a way that gives you, you, the great wisdom, it's just not going to work. It's just going to completely fatigue you. So one of the things that I want to go over is just the simple, it's so simple. It's so simple. This is an example that I have that I was just listening to a speaker. I was li listening to Jim Rowan, and I actually took the time that I have just a simple three by five card. And in that three by five card, I just listened to a speech and I went, let me write down some things that are important to that for me. And now I can have, I can do something with this one. I can set it down and look at it a year later and go, this is terrible note taking. Or I can look at this and go, yes, yes. Define the conversation that define the conversations that are dominating my time. Okay, let me see what I can do with that. Sometimes when you are hearing things in all of these things that you're reading, you don't know where you got it. You can't go back for it and you just lose it. It just, it just is consumption. But that consumption takes something from us that your mind used it. It's storing it somewhere, but it can't actually retrieve it. And that fact that it's just this dump of everything in there, that is fatiguing. So one of the methodologies that I give people is again, using this card method is if you're going to be consuming something that is digital related and that you're trying to learn something from it, you actually have to take some notes and they don't have to be a lot of notes. They can be touch point notes, but they're for not your present self. They're for your future self. So after you get a bunch of these, you can go, well, what am I why am I consuming all of this stuff? Because many of you are consuming things that you have no intention of keeping. Well, the bigger question becomes, and the greater wisdom that you'll come into is, is that worth your time? Is it worth being out of being present in the situations and the things that you're doing to consume all of this stuff for what purpose? And if that purpose is because you just need something to do, okay. Okay, we can do that purpose. But again, I'm uncovering my listening ear to go, what are you listening to and why? Because the amount of consumption that's coming in, is it the right stuff for you? Is it necessary? Is it actually taking away? Is there a greater need of why you're consuming all of this stuff? Are you consuming it because you're bored? Are you consuming it because you think it'll make you better? Are you consuming it because it's actually life-giving? Then if it's life-giving, then you might want to take some notes on it. And you want these notes. First, you're just going to start your listening ear to say, let me, let me listen. And this next step of listening and taking just a, a three-by-five card of notes, you're only going to have a three-by-five card of notes. But by just jotting a few things down, now I have a physical thing I can come back to. Now I can put it into notes. Now I can put it to somewhere else. Now I can go back and say, oh, Jim Rowan, that's who gave me that little piece of data. And you can now put it into a different system. But right now, 
It's just learning this. It is learning to use a three by five card to support what you're consuming and to write down some things for your future self so that you can go, oh yeah, okay, these are good reminders. Inspire this, leverage my networks. Okay, but all of this came in one talk and now it stores itself in your mind as a packet of information. So this is something now you can refer back to, you can pull it out, you can go, oh, okay, now I can look at this, I can research it, uh, meaning that not research as in more knowledge, but I can search for it again. Think about it. So if you are consuming, the big question is why, for what end goal, is it serving you? And are you going to take away from that and actually have knowledge that you can use? If you are trying to build a body of wisdom with all of the things that you are consuming, you won't remember them all. No one can. And they'll get stored in there in some weird ass way that you don't know how to get back to. And what you really want is to be able to build a body of knowledge that is useful to you. And that is a gift. And that is a form of capital. That is using your resources for you. Using your resources so you can use them again in some other way. Some of you are learning things for projects. Some of you are just learning things because it's fun. But some of you are learning things to add on to your knowledge. But if you can't go back and find them, that statistic gets lost. You don't know why it's there. And it's, it's a good habit. It's a good habit to try to remember what to remember, not in your head, somewhere else. All right. Have a great day. That's today's topic is it's on the card method, but it's using that card method, three by five cards of really helping you understand what you're consuming, how you're consuming it, and how you retain that knowledge again later, and how you put that knowledge towards a body of wisdom, because you must actually process all the knowledge to be able to have wisdom. And wisdom means that I can go back to it. It's something that I do over and over again. So. Have a great day. Thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up for you. Because your life is your most important thing. And having a prosperity mindset takes work. And it is a valuable effort. And I'm glad you're here. Bye.